Hello! Uh, in the last drop down video we looked at getting strings in there. Um, this video we're going to look at enums because you might want to take some enum values and put them in the drop down list box. So that's what we're going to be looking at today is enums. And enums, as we know, start after the fade. This is where we left our project um, before. If you want a copy of it, it's down in the, the description below. Um, okay, so we are going to go back into the code here. Now, initially I had uh, these values here. So um, these are great and all, but sometimes you want to have enums, as I, as I mentioned in the intro. So let's say we have, I'm just going to create an enum here called... Um, uh, Flintstones, and I'm going to call this one uh, select, or actually let's call this none, and we'll call this one Fred, Barney, Wilma, Betty. Okay, and our names are going to disappear because we don't need the names. Um, so instead of our index, we are actually going to have, um, how are we going to do this? Okay, let's figure that out in just a sec. So for our populate list, uh, we need to add these items here. So how do we get these enumerations into a string format that we can use. Well, it turns out that uh, we can actually use the enum class, which is actually part of system. So make sure you have this up here, so system. So I think the last time we left, uh, we didn't have that. So if you do enum and then press control dot and then add using system, and then this has got a get names object. So we're going to do enum names equals get names. And then we're going to use this operator called type of to get the values from our enums. So we're going to use type of, oh, and then we're going to specify Flintstones, which is our enum type. So all this works. So that gets our names there and that puts it inside the string. Now, this uh, options that I made a big fuss about last time because it had three different methods there all take a list. So I need to create a list here. So I'm going to do list equals new string there. But I can specify an enumerable collection. Well, it turns out that this is actually an enumerable collection. So I can just do enum names uh, straight in there and then that solves all that problem. So if I just comment this one out here so far. Um, so I'm going to comment that line out there and I'm going to go back through this one here. So this line here gets the names, the enumerated, enumerated names list from this type. So type of Flintstones. We then take that array of enumerated names and we create our list object from it and then we pass that list object into our drop down options. Okay, so now when we run our code, we get none, Fred, Barney, Wilma, Betty. Okay. So it's perfect, it works fine. But how do we get the name back from it? Well, what we can do is we can do Flintstones um, name equals Flintstones index. Because we know that an enumeration can be converted to and from an integer if you use the casting right. So this is us saying that this integer <clears throat> is going to be in the range 0 through to 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4. So you can see that Betty equals 4 here. If you have a high enough 
definition there on your screen. Um, and so we just need to figure out how to get the name from it. I think you can actually just do selected name dot text equals name dot to string. I'm going to be confident enough that that will give us the right value. Um, otherwise, we're going to have to do some finagling in there. So I'm going to choose Wilma, and that gives me Wilma. Choose Betty, that gives me Betty. Choose Fred, that gives me Fred. Choose Barney, and I choose none, and that gives me none. Okay. So yeah, so that's uh, that's how you get enums into a drop-down list and then back out again. All right, guys, that was a short video. Um, that's it. That's as easy as, as it is. Uh, so just use your uh, enum class from system to get the names out of there, and then it pretty much works exactly like the, the first system where you uh, put the, the names into the options, use the add options method, and you're done. Uh, you can populate uh, a drop-down box with an enumeration. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I know your time is, is, is valuable. Um, and until next time, um, keep coding.